Let's consider how to define a system and system boundary to calculate the heat duty, or heat transfer rate, in a heat exchanger. First, let's think about how this is calculated. To determine the heat duty experimentally, we use this equation, where M is the mass flow rate, Cp is the heat capacity of the fluid, and delta T is the temperature change of the fluid through the heat exchanger. This can help us decide what to define as our system and where to draw our boundary. The first requirement is that we choose a system that is open, or has mass transferred across the boundary. This is essential because our heat duty equation assumes that we have fluid flow. When analyzing our heat exchanger, we also assume a steady state process, where the mass coming in is equal to the mass exiting. To prevent accumulation of fluid in our system, we must choose a boundary that contains an inlet and an outlet. Next, we must consider the transfer of energy across our system boundary. Since we know that heat, or energy, is transferred from the hot fluid to the cold fluid in our heat exchanger, we must choose a system that includes a location where heat transfer occurs. Finally, we have to determine which fluid temperatures are needed to determine the heat duty. The temperature change used in the heat duty equation is the difference between the inlet and outlet temperature of the hot or cold fluid. That means we should choose a system and a system boundary that allows us to determine this temperature change. Let's use this information to determine the system and system boundary required to calculate the heat duty based on the cold fluid in our heat exchanger. The cold water inlet and outlet must cross our boundary. We also know that heat is transferred to the cold fluid at the pipe wall, so our boundary should pass this location. Finally, we can measure the temperatures at the cold water inlet and outlet, so our boundary should cross these locations. Using all of this information, the correct choice for our system is the entire volume through which the cold fluid is passing, and the correct system boundary is the annular space for cold fluid flow. Here are some thought exercises for you to consider. Define a system and system boundary to calculate the heat duty based on the hot fluid instead of the cold fluid. Why can't we choose the entire heat exchanger as our system? Why can't we choose the inner pipe wall as our system?